Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part 8 of Space Chicken in the ReadyMaker software. Uh, what we're going to do in this one is we are going to have the lasers destroy the asteroids. So as of right now when we play, what happens is we collect, we get uh, a score, we shoot, and the laser just continues on its way and the asteroid does not disappear. Okay, So we need to stop that from happening. All right. So the first thing you're going to do, I may have forgotten to say this in the last video, is you're going to click on your laser and you're going to make sure that you put that in a class called lasers. Okay, I don't know if I did that in the last one or not, um, but, you know, put that in there. Uh, next thing, on the asteroid, you're going to add a, an effect, and you can do any effect you want, but I'm going to use the impact effect. You're going to drag that over here, and you're going to make sure that it's not active on start because you don't want it to just explode the second the game starts. Okay, so make sure that that's off. Um, other than that, we're going to go into our coding and we're going to start doing some stuff here. Alright, so the first one, we're going to call this one Laser Hits Asteroid. Whoops. Okay. So basically, when anything from the lasers class senses a collision with anything from the asteroids class, so when a laser touches an asteroid, the affected laser is going to be a clone remove because we want the laser to go away once it touches uh, an asteroid okay and okay there's gonna be a couple things here the affected asteroid uh, the impact particle effect is going to run so let's hit done okay and let's see what that does all right so I collect I shoot so we're getting the bang effect and the laser is going away, but the asteroid is still there and can still kill you. Okay, so we need to make sure that asteroid goes away as well. So here's the thing. In that same event, come on, drag. All right, in that same event, if you were to say, and the affected asteroid uh, clone remove, I'm not even going to show you. What happens is, is that it tries to run the effect, the, the impact particle effect, at the same time that it's removing the asteroid, which means they can't do that at the same time, so it just removes the asteroid. Okay, So we want to see that effect. So what we need to do is we need to go back out, and we're going to add something. And by the way, if you click off of this, well, okay, here you go. If you double-click on the background, you see the grid, if, you, if your person likes to see a grid. But also, if you click on the asteroid, you'll see the effect that it's going to do. And in effects, you can actually mess around with that and make it say bang or poof or splat or zap or whatever you want it to say, um, how big it is and, and all that stuff. So you can play with that a little bit. Um, so anyways, what we need to do is we need to add um, a behavior to this called counter, okay? Something that's going to count up. And the counter is going to have a value of zero, which means off, okay? So back in here, what we're going to do at the end of this event is we're going to say, okay, the affected asteroid, um, the counter of it is going to also just become a set value of 1 at this point, which means that we're going to turn the counter on once all of this happens. So laser hits, let's go back. So laser hits asteroid, uh, laser disappears, asteroid runs an effect, and then all of a sudden we're going to start counting up at this point. Okay. So now we need another event. All right. So let's close this one and let's start another one. And we are going to call that one Destroy Asteroid. Whoops. All right. So in this Destroy Asteroid event here, what we're going to do is um, all of the Asteroid class, when the counter is actually turned on, so when it's equal to 1, 1 is on, 0 is off, uh, and the system runtime has been uh, actually repeat every set manual to 0 0.2, let's say. So it basically, as it counts, it, as soon as it's a split second, 0.2, it's going to then uh, destroy the asteroid. Okay, So it's going to give it enough time to run the effect, but it's also going to not be too much time where you know it would run the effect, the asteroid would still remain, and then it would disappear. So we don't want that to happen either. Um, and then you know what do we want it to do? We want the asteroid or the affected asteroid to clone remove clone okay so let's see what that does all right so we're collecting 
we shoot, we get a bang, and boom, it disappears. That's exactly what we want. There it is. All right, thanks for watching. This is part eight, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Gotta catch